Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am at Haneda Airport here in Tokyo, Japan. I just finished up my awesome return to this country. I went to some of my favorite stomping grounds out in Tokyo where I was in Golden Guy and different parts of Shinjuku. But also I went outside of Tokyo this time and went over to Osaka and Kyoto. This is just an absolutely beautiful country and if you haven't visited before, I highly recommend because this destination is just absolutely incredible. But unfortunately now it is time for me to leave, but leaving here at Haneda Airport, I'm gonna be flying with a a in their first class suites. So I'm highly looking forward to that. I've been at Haneda Airport before and I flew Japan Airlines first class. So it's gonna be a nice comparing when it comes to leaving Japan, everything that entails when it comes to being a first class flyer. So one of the good things about at this airport is that if you happen to be flying in either business or first class, there is a priority place for your security. So that makes it easier and quicker to be able to get through um, airport security. And obviously if you have the ability to take advantage of the lounge, you really should because it is going to improve your travel experience because of the fact you won't have to just sit and wait near your gate. Um, instead, you can just relax, be comfortable, and have a few drinks and whatever type of food they have to offer. So it is a few hours before my flight, so I'm definitely going to get myself in a meal at the a a First Class Lounge. So I'm looking forward to go checking that out right now. All right, I got a quick question for my fellow travelers out here. Do any of you all do what I do, which is... If you happen to be at a foreign airport, you always go to the airport gate before you even go to the lounge just to confirm that it exists because it's something that I do every single time. I just want to know how long of a walk it's going to take me from the lounge over to the gate. So I always make sure to go over to the gate beforehand and then when I go to the gate, just see, okay, how long does it take to get from here to the lounge so I can end up determining what time I need to be able to leave to be able to get be one of the first people on the plane. So but yeah, I just, <laughs> I never do it at LAX because I know that airport so well, but um, anytime I leave uh, a foreign airport, I always do that. So I wanna know in the comment section down below, who else goes to the airport gate just to confirm that it even exists and then after goes to the lounge. Let me know in the comment section down below.
Sweet please change. Yeah, I noticed, yeah. I had this sweet when I came in. So now I got this, this one. Yes, but yeah. this is the original one. Also this is the original one. Yeah, many people were angry when they were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For I, me, I'm, you know. I'm happy with everything. Oh, really? So, yeah. It's the first time. No, I did the like sweets. This one? Oh, this one, yes, yeah. This, this one's one the first time. So now I'm like, yeah, I get to compare. You already experienced it. It's for uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah. it's better. Uh, no. <laughs> no, not better. I don't. <laughs> Different. We try to be. Yeah. Do my best. I know. <laughs> don't worry. I, I don't. It, I don't need a lot. Thank you very so, much. Yeah. Today you just uh, ate on half hour. Okay. Yeah, enjoy your flight. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Alrighty, so we're here in ANA's first class. It is their older product. Um, they first had the older product set up and then they switched it over to being the sweets like, uh, I don't know, what was it, maybe three weeks ago, something like that. Um, so it was the new product and then it appears that last minute they just switched it back to being the older product. Um, so I did get the sweets coming into uh, Tokyo, so for me, at least I already got to experience it. I was happy, but uh, there was many people at the front counter who were in business class who were supposed to have the room who were very unhappy. Um, and I don't know exactly what they're gonna do to try to help accommodate them, but they were saying, yeah, I don't have the seat that I was told I was supposed to be able to get. I don't have the door that I, I mean, I understand if you're paying full cash for these type of seats, why you would be so angry. Um, the beautiful thing is, is I paid points. This seat right here cost me $200. So whether I get the suites, which I didn't even originally book, um, obviously it's it's the you know comparison is a thief of joy. But um, I've never done this product before. Um, so is it as nice as the suites? Uh, no, it's not as nice as the suites. You can immediately tell that this one's um, you know not as as I don't know if you want to call it advanced or the other one's more modern with the doors in first class. Like you can't. When I look over, it's pretty hard for me to see anyone. But there's only two other people in this cabin currently in first class and they are on the other side so i'm currently all by myself anyways on this side of the plane if you happen to be booking one of these flights there's a possibility that may end up being an equipment change and if that does end up being the case you uh you need to be prepared to go to the other product um it's something that happens i see it happen with like qatar with their q suites all the time and people are very angry about not getting the Q suites and having a different product from uh, Qatar. Um, right now, it's happening maybe with ANA, but I guess the difference here is that at least I'll have another product to be able to compare to the newer one. First initial thoughts, we've taken off. We still have the seatbelt signs on, but um, just what I think as I'm sitting here is one, this seat is very, very comfortable. I really do like this seat. Um, so that's definitely a, a big positive about this uh, experience. Um, and then also just the area. You can't see anyone else in here. It's uh, I know it's no closed doors, but that's another positive about sitting here. Um, there's many different mirrors that you could have. So if you are someone who wants a mirror, you have the ability to see yourself in many different ways. Also something first impression that I don't like about this is the way that the window is set up. So I have three windows like I would in other first class products out there. However, half the window is like blocked off by all this stuff where there's the different uh, entertainment system that's set up or just places to put things so I can't really look out the window after a super like lean forward to even look out the window yeah I'm, I'm, a, I'm a window guy so that's that's unfortunate the way that that's set up fantastic Thank you. 
roasted beef, smoked the tuna, and uh, marinated the turnip. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So for the dining experience, um, this doesn't have to do anything with being the older product. It just comes down to the time of night since this is a night flight. It seems to be more limited as compared to the uh, if you happen to fly during the day. From If I understood correctly from what I was told is that there's just going to be the options that are, I mean it's decent options, but there's options that are going to be uh, more of like light meals that they have and you only get one main meal before landing. I mean, the flight took off at uh, almost 11 o'clock at night, so I get it. People are getting in, they're probably about to just fall right to sleep as they get on the airplane. I myself am about to fall asleep pretty soon. I just had some nice Krug and some nice um, Hibiki 20, or sorry, 17. You only get the 21 if you're flying to either London or uh, I think New York. Those are only two destinations you get it currently but the 17 is fantastic this is still something that would end up being about a thousand dollars a bottle the hibiki 21 is i think closer to like 13 1400 dollars a bottle um i haven't had that one but from what i've gotten from this one right here if you are someone who likes whiskey absolutely phenomenal so you can choose between the western style or the japanese style i'm definitely going to choose japanese style and i recommend anyone who's flying on an Asian airline to choose the Asian style. I've heard people complain before about choosing a Western style when on an Asian airline and that they didn't get it right. And I'm like, why are you gonna do that when, if you're flying on a Asian airline, choose the product that you know that they're gonna be really good at making. Alrighty, so as nice as the Sony headphones were, for some reason when I plugged them in, they kept on shutting off. So it would work for like 15, 20 seconds, and then it would shut off, and, and then it would come back on. So it's not an ideal way to be able to watch something that's inter something you're watching on either a film or some type of TV. So um, I had to try to talk to the person who, the stewardess, uh, it was like a five, ten minute ordeal. That'd be something about the older product. Maybe there's some things that have some hiccups, but yeah, I have my Bose. It's good. No noise cancellation. I love these headphones a lot. I take them everywhere I go. So the best. Alrighty, so I got these comfortable PJs on. Very, very nice, comfortable. Look nice as well. Um, I will say one thing that I like better about this flight with A and A in first class is that it's cooler. When I did the suites, it was really, really warm on the plane, and I remember waking up just sweating. So, um, but right now with these PJs on, I feel good. And the good thing about it as well is if there happens to not be someone else who's in the same seat uh, or in the same area, you can take over one of the other seats as the bed. So that's what the stewardess did. So over there set up is my bed and I'm going to go sit over in that bed or lie down, go to sleep. We still have another six hours after the flight. So I'm going to try to get at least maybe three or four hours of sleep and then be 
ready to get up, get myself some food, and touch down in San Francisco. Alrighty, so we're gonna land in about 45 minutes. So I need to change out of these PJs that I was given. So I'll just get my final thoughts of ANA's first class when in the older product. And I'll say that it's still a really good product. If you haven't tried out the newer product, you're gonna get in this and just be very happy with what's offered to you. The chair is incredibly comfortable, especially when it's turned into a bed. And that's one thing that I'll give an absolute A plus to. Um, the newer product, while I really did like it, this one I think was softer when it was in bed mode, so I'll, I'll give that maybe a hats off to this. Um, as a whole, the staff is really good. The woman who uh, was my flight attendant has been really just on point, constantly making sure that I'm taken care of. Uh, yeah, so great with that. There's so much crude champagne that you can have, um, which is, you know, listen, you're, if you're paying for this type of product or using the type of points, that is going to be uh, what's required to take this, then take full advantage of this. So while Krug Champagne might be two to three hundred dollars a bottle, you get free flowing of it. So over the course of the nine plus hour flight, I finish a whole bottle myself and I enjoy every single second of it. That's the whole point of these type of like luxury experiences is to fully indulge in the luxury that's offered to you. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, there's many, many, many positive things about this product. Um, but obviously, if you compare it to the new suites, it's there's just the new suites are clearly better. But as a whole, still a fantastic product. Still something that if I needed to fly again over to Tokyo or just start off over in Asia, this would be a fantastic product to be able to fly over to Asia with. So, but yeah, ANA is, you know, my hats off to them. They are just such a great. Um, airline really feel like a first class passenger you're gonna get that experience with a and a hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions drop it down in the comment section down below i'll do the best i can to answer it if you happen to really like this video do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button share this video and have a beautiful rest of your day peace